I uh, travel around quite a bit, and I find that most people don't even know what an illusion is. Now, I'm not an illusionist, uh, and most people, even I could tell you I wasn't, you wouldn't know, because most people don't know what a, an illusion is. And I'll give you an example. Uh, what would be your definition of an illusion? Mm. I'll get back to you. <laughs> <laughs> what would be your definition of an illusion? Something that happens but didn't happen. Like a good relationship. <laughs> You're not, you're not too far off. What would be your definition of an illusion? Um, something that appears a certain way but isn't really that way. Very close. Closer than the two gentlemen. But women know more about reality than we do. <laughs> <laughs> to me, an illusion is only something that appears to be happening. For in your mind and physically, you know it's impossible and it cannot be done. Much like when David Copperfield made the Statue of Liberty disappear. Although on that night he was wearing long sleeves and a trench coat. <laughs> I'm not saying where the statue went, but this looked awfully suspicious to me. <laughs> Unlike any other magician you'll ever see, I allow you to examine my props. So for this one moment, I am going to hand you this. This is a short piece of rope. You may examine that. This is, a, uh, this is probably the medium piece of rope. You may examine that, and this is a long piece of rope. Basically, the reason I pass these out is so that the rest of the audience realizes that all I'm using are three different lengths of rope. They're not gimmick or tricked up in any way, and basically are made up of the same material. The only thing that makes them different are their length. Would you agree? Yes. yes. Now, if you think I have separated them for some mysterious reason, please feel free to mingle. <laughs> Leave it to a woman. She's not, not very trusting soul. All right. So this is a short piece of rope, this is a medium piece of rope, and this is a long piece of rope. And the way this trick originated is when I was in high school. We had a professor come over once a week from the college. This man was always baffling me with his mathematical problems. Whenever I got the chance, I would try to fool him. I said, Professor, did you know the three pieces of rope were all the same length? He said, Michael, did you know you were flunking this class? <laughs> I hated that guy. I said, Professor, watch closely. When you bring the short piece of rope to the top like this, when you bring the medium piece of rope to the top like this, and when you bring the long piece of rope to the top like this, you could agree from my thumb up they might be the same length. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Dead silence then, dead silence now. <laughs> As you can see, the silence doesn't bother me anymore. <laughs> I said, Professor, watch closely because it's only when you tug on the ropes is when they look like they all three become the same length. <clears throat> And that's when I showed him that I had one piece of rope, and that I had two pieces of rope, and that I had a third piece of rope, all the same length. He then turned to me after the near deafening applause. <laughs> you people are so spontaneous. He said, Michael, that's physically impossible. How did you do that? And I said, Professor, to tell you the truth, every time I've ever done this trick, I've always started off with this, the short piece of rope first, the medium piece of rope second, and I save the long piece in case I screw up and I have to start over again. <laughs>